Welcome to our step-by-step -step guide on how to install a borehole pump. This comprehensive guide will take you through the process, ensuring a successful installation. Let's get started. Begin with a borehole casing extruded from the ground. Close the borehole casing to prevent debris from entering the borehole. Remove the soil around the casing to the depth of the borehole cover or at least 300 mm below ground level. The amount of soil to be removed will depend on your borehole cover. The purpose of the cover is for future maintenance, safety, aesthetics and to prevent debris from entering your borehole. Shorten the casing below ground, leaving at least 20 mm to create a smooth edge. This will provide a mating surface for your borehole base plate. Identify your tank location and dig a trench from the borehole to the tank. Make it wide enough for pipework and the power cable conduit with a minimum depth of 300 mm. Before installing the tanks, make sure to rinse them of all debris and plastic shavings left over from manufacturing. Be sure that all threads for the connectors have been covered with thread tape to ensure a proper seal. If more than one tank is used for water storage, connect the tanks with the appropriate size connectors to ensure they fill equally. It's best to install the majority of the fittings while you are in a spacious area if there is limited space where the tanks will be installed. Move the tanks to the prepared location. Ensure that the tanks are installed on a flat and level surface that won't move over time. Determine the depth of your borehole pump and a cut length of HDPE pipe to the desired length. Clean the burrs from the pipe ends. Attach a non-return valve to the pump outlet to protect the pump. Complete the piping between the pump and the base plate. Measure the distance to the borehole controller, add the pump's depth and cut the pump's power cable for the correct length. Secure the H07 cable to the borehole base plate with the correct size compression cable gland for protection. Secure the H07 cable to the piping using electrical installation tape. Use ski rope to secure the pump to the borehole base plate. Ensure there is no strain on the cable or piping. Join your motor cable to the H07 power cable using a compatible sized resin cable joint kit. Electrical work should only be done by a qualified professional. Perform a motor resistance test and insulation resistance test before connecting the motor. Place the bowl pump in a water container and power on controller to test the motor, pump and cable before the final installation. Disconnect the controller after the test has been concluded. Gently lower the borehole pump into the borehole, taking care not to damage it. Ensure the motor is suspended at least 2 meters from the bottom of the borehole. Route the cable through the conduit in the trench leading to the motor control box. Be sure that the electrical work is done by a qualified professional. When mounting the controller for the borehole pump, be sure to place it in a weather sealed box to protect the electronic components from the elements. When installing a pressure pump, ensure that you install an electrical socket next to it that is rated for outdoor use. It is important that the pump is plugged in and not hardwired. Hardwiring the pump will void its warranty. Install a float switch in the tank, securing the cable to the tank with a cable gland. Use the correct size conduit to run the float switch cable from the tank to the controller. Connect the float switch to the controller, ensuring the controller is completely disconnected from the power source. Finish the piping from the borehole base plate to the tanks using suitable comprehension fittings. 
power on the controller and test the installation. Lift the float switch in the tank to test its operation within the system. Before closing all trenches, inspect all fittings for leaks. With inspection complete, you can now close all trenches. We recommend using the water for irrigation or similar applications for 14 days to flush the system. Once the water has been tested and deemed potable, you can safely use the water for consumption. Congratulations! Your borehole pump installation is now complete.